And when did you install the first um, porous plate, plug? Yeah, porous plug in the. In the oh, I can't remember right now. It was probably. Uh, Approximately. Oh, I would say 1964. Okay. Came around there, okay. so three or four early in that. And you said that was the first in Canada. It was Alaska. the first. Yeah. yeah, it was the first uh, porous plug in a uh, major steel mm -hmm. facility in Canada. And uh, we had a, by that time we had a little uh, uh, research lab at DeFasco in the back of the tin plate storage area. And we had an induction furnace there so we could make small pots of liquid steel and uh, put small porous plugs in the bottom and bubble argon up through it and see what the effect would be before we put them in ladles of uh, 100 tons or more of steel. So, and then we finally did it at uh, the Fasco in the, the steel making plant, in the old number one melt shop. And uh, so we had porous plugs there from then on at the Fasco. And it worked out as a good uh, uh, way of stirring molten steel. Uh, because, yeah, when you pour the steel in the ladle, but quite often it would be segregation and things like that. Segregation of chemistry and segregation of temperature, and both were critical to the quality of the steel. So it was a good uh, step forward for DeFasco. Uh, although not many uh, people uh, were uh, anxious to put porous plugs in the bottom of the lake, but people thought, well, I must, or, uh, I'll go my steel. Eventually tried one, but somehow they didn't put it in properly, and it leaked. Yeah, it leaked through and they had a, a hole in the bottom of the latest steel. Which yeah. that stopped them from making <laughs> <a> magic money. <laughs>